Hello! In this video, we are going to talk about when to use the library's OneSearch tool versus a specific library database. First, though, I am going to introduce an example to help clarify this decision. Imagine that you want to order takeout, but you don't want to order from the same three places you always do. How do you pick a new restaurant? You might start your search with Google. That's a great place to start. Your Google search results will likely include suggestions for restaurants nearby, as well as some lists of best restaurants in NYC from websites that write about food. Eater, for example, is a website that has a section that is dedicated just to restaurants in New York City. Or you might start your search by going to the website or app for Yelp. The results from Yelp are very specific. The point of Yelp is to gather user-generated reviews, and some restaurants will let you place your takeout order right from the app. Yelp and Google give you a lot of the same information. Names of restaurants near you that offer takeout, rankings or ratings for those restaurants, information about hours, and the option to place your order. Still, Yelp has some features that you don't get on Google. Have you ever ordered something that looked totally different from the photograph in the menu? Or been disappointed when the big plate of pasta you were expecting turns out to be a tiny portion that would only fill up a baby mouse? You can use Yelp to see pictures of food submitted by other users and plan accordingly. That's a good reason to use the app, even when most of the same information is on Google. Here is what your research process might look like. You might find everything you need in Google or Yelp, or you might start with one, then use the other. Depending on what you need to know and how much time you have, you might choose Google or Yelp or a combination of the two. Now back to library research. When should you use OneSearch? When should you use a library database? OneSearch is like the library's Google. It's the first search option you see on the library's website. It sits right in the middle of the page. OneSearch searches broadly across many of the library's collections. Results will include books, ebooks, historical documents, government documents, videos, newspapers, magazines, scholarly articles, and more. Library databases are much more specific. They usually have a disciplinary focus, like business or literature. They contain particular source types, like newspapers, videos, or scholarly articles, or they offer access to specific tools or ways of organizing the information. Like Yelp, they get you to a very specific category or type of information. Let's take a look at a search in OneSearch for the phrase imperfect foods. OneSearch has pulled together some super useful results. We see two scholarly journals, one from a food production journal and another from a consumer science journal. We also see an ebook of literary criticism about vermin. This one has the word imperfect in the title, but it's not a great match. That's something that can happen in any search. Your role as the researcher is to figure out which of these results will best serve your information need. These are results for the same phrase, imperfect foods from a library database with a business focus. The name of the database is Business Insights Global. You can see that these results are more specific. The results come from the business world and focus on funding for a grocery delivery company named Imperfect Foods, new markets where ugly produce is being introduced, and a press release about cookies made from ingredients that would normally be discarded. These results are not necessarily better, but they are more specific. There's no right way to approach the research process. You'll change your search strategy based on the information you need. You can start with OneSearch and find everything you need, or go to a library database and find the same. 
you can also use a combination of the two. OneSearch is almost always the best place to start, but sometimes a library database will get you the information you need in a more efficient or useful way. You don't have to figure out your search strategy on your own, though. You can ask a librarian. We can help guide you to the best resource for your information need. Next, we will go through just a few of the special tools and filters that you can find in our library databases. Statista provides access to recent statistics and studies. It also offers a business plan export that can help you model markets. This is an important part of any business plan where you show how your business will fit into current consumer or digital markets. APA PsychInfo offers search filters that are uniquely useful for research in the field of psychology. When you're using this database, you can search by methodology and limit results by study population or age groups. For example, you can search for quantitative research on the link between motivation and happiness using animal subjects. Gale Literature is useful when writing papers for English classes, but it also has a category called Topic and Work Overviews, which is full of summaries of texts. This is great when you need to remember which chapter something happened or when you need some help understanding the themes in a literary work. Social Explorer uses many types of demographic data, including from the census, to help you gather statistics about your zip code or the whole country. You can find out the average age in your neighborhood or see which state has the most educated population. A to Z World Travel gives you detailed overviews of cities. You can find out what the seasons are like, what the conventions are around tipping in restaurants, and see pictures of their currency and electrical outlets. This is a great database for planning your virtual or future travel. That's it for now. I hope this was a helpful exploration into the difference between OneSearch and other library databases. Please keep in mind, though, that this was an introduction into an incredibly complex process. College-level research is not something you are supposed to know how to do automatically. It takes a lot of trial and error, and it's always okay to feel unsure or need help. So, if you need help with choosing the right place to search for information or with anything else during your research process, please do not hesitate to ask a librarian.